Today's video is going to be very non-traditional. Well, that's not true. Today is Monday, May 16th. It is currently like, I think around noon. And I just felt really called to record this video. I was in the gym today. This morning when I woke up, I just was not feeling it at all, okay? I have set some goals for myself and I have really set my made my mind up that I am going to excel at my goals, that I'm going to reach all of my desires, conquer all the things, all of the things. So yesterday I had a beautiful, beautiful day. I created a vision board, which was so amazing. Um, I actually filmed a little bit of it, so I will include that footage in this video somewhere, most likely. But yes, yeah, so yesterday I made my vision board. I am currently on a fast from listening to music and watching TV. I got this concept from a YouTube video I saw on the Fine Guru's channel, Nini. I saw it on her channel, actually. Um, and so I'm in this space of cleansing and really pushing myself to show up as my best self and just really pushing myself to continue to grow and evolve and do all the things, right? And so this morning I woke up having set my intention just the same way I'm going through my process, two, two, two on the clock. Um, and I just was not feeling it, like nothing about today. I wasn't feeling anything about it. And I was going back and forth in my brain because I have so much content that I have recorded for my YouTube channel. The problem is the internal battle that I was facing is that a lot of the content that it is that I, a lot of the content that I have already recorded, stuff that I've been had and stuff that I've been sitting on for a long time, doesn't really ring true to my purpose and to my core values. I think posting content about my hair is great, but it just wasn't really, it's not giving what it needs to give. And I will likely still share that content when I'm ready. But I just was in the gym, walking on the treadmill. Like I said, as I started saying before I kind of got sidetracked, um, I woke up this morning and I just really wasn't feeling it. And so I really allowed myself to, I really enforced extending grace to myself and really allowed myself to just go at the flow of whatever I was able to do today and whatever felt true and authentic to my spirit and so i just lowered you guys a little bit but anyway but yeah so i was walking on the treadmill i was listening to think and grow rich the audiobook i can talk more about my 21 day journey i've also started recording that so i definitely would be happy to talk to you guys just about this space that i'm at in my life and just all the things that come with working towards being the best version of myself and really having those real raw honest conversations with myself typically with my morning routine i like to get up super early i like to get up around five i like to meditate journal do my affirmations look at my goal card do all the things i like to go to the gym um and when i go to the gym i like to have a really nice workout come back take a shower wash my face get fully dressed for the day feed myself all the things before i have to get into my meetings for work so today like i said it just wasn't happening and so i extended grace to myself and i was just pushing myself mentally making sure that i was filling myself with here's audible right here as i'm saying that I just got a notification from them. I'm pushing myself to fill myself up with quality content and with things that really fill my spirit and fill my soul. And so um, I'm getting ready and I'm feeling super heavy, but I'm listening to my motivational audio. I'm listening to audio that is enlightening and makes me feel, feel spiritually fed. And so I'm like, you know what? Let me just wash my hair, take care of myself, trim my hair, do what I need to do put my clothes on. I didn't have any meetings this morning, so I took I took advantage of the opportunity to give myself a little bit of extra time because my soul really needed it today. And so I finished getting dressed. I put my gym clothes on. I went downstairs to the gym. I opened up my Playbook app. I can tell you guys a lot more about my journey with Playbook and all that stuff because I definitely will be sharing more of my workout routines and more of just my morning routines that incorporate me working out in the future. But anyway, I open up my Playbook app and Rebecca Brocks is the trainer that I am subscribed to. I love her content. And she actually uploaded, recently I suppose, she uploaded a menstrual cycle class, I guess we can call it, a menstrual cycle workout, a menstrual cycle class. It's like a seven day 
curriculum for your menstrual cycle and all the things and it's so amazing because I opened it and the first thing she says is that when we are on our menstrual cycle you really don't need to be pushing yourself to do a bunch of high intensity workouts this is when your body really needs you to listen to what it needs just move at a slower pace do things like walk swim read journal reflect all of the things so once i saw that that definitely was confirmation and like a god smile to me to just like be more gentle with myself i'm here in the gym now but don't force yourself to do some crazy workout that you really don't feel like doing just take it slow so i stretched i did a little bit of yoga and then i got on the treadmill as I'm on the treadmill, I'm walking and I'm brainstorming, thinking about the goals that I've set for myself and thinking about the fact that I need to post some content on my YouTube channel. I haven't posted any content on my YouTube channel in a while and I'm sitting on all this content for my YouTube channel, but it's just like this push pull type of thing going on internally. As I'm sitting there, as I'm walking on the treadmill, I'm listening to Think and Grow Rich and I'm just walking reflecting i'm breathing as i'm walking i'm already feeling better i'm looking out the window at the pool and the grass and the sunshine and it's just making me feel better and i'm just allowing myself to slowly come out from under this cloud and as i'm walking i'm just thinking to myself no time like the present then to just record this video i felt really called to just share where i'm at right now and just encourage hopefully if you are trying to start your journey or if you are already along on your journey wherever you are on your journey hopefully this may be of some encouragement to you i think today i really felt called to just be gentle with myself and also to just remember that just start where you are it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be you know the grand elaborate scheme that you may have thought that it was going to be all the time just start with where you are and it's better for me to show up by myself and take babies by myself show up for myself and take baby steps than it is for me to just not do anything for myself today because i'm in a funk and because i'm not feeling it even as i'm recording this as y'all can see i'm like super smiling and stuff because honestly i just feel like a weight has been lifted off of me i feel like there's so much that i want to share with you all and there's so much content that i'm looking forward to creating on my youtube channel and i feel like a lot of times i can get caught up in my head because i'm trying to think about how will people react to this content is it something that is in alignment with content that people have seen on my channel before um yada 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 the analytics all the things and then i just had to really remind myself like i said to just extend grace to myself to be more gentle with myself and so i think right now is the perfect time mercury is currently in retrograde hello and also the full moon is today the full moon in scorpio i'm a scorpio so your girl is just really really feeling this plus the lunar eclipse which means that the sun the moon and the earth are in perfect alignment if y'all don't care about the astrology, that's okay. I just wanted to throw that in there to kind of explain why I feel like right now is such a powerful time to manifest and such a powerful time to feel enlightened and to show up as your best self. And so with that, like I said, I just was feeling a little bit heavy and I just, as I was able to come through that cloud, I just felt so called to just get in front of my camera, i.e. my phone. I didn't even pull my camera out and just record and talk to y'all because I think that there's something so powerful about authenticity and authenticity is something that we're always striving for, something that I'm always striving for within my content and within anything that I do, of course. And I think even in that, there's still a level of planning and structure and then the overthinking and the overanalyzing and, and just like the rat race that can happen and like the mental mind fuck excuse my French, that can happen. I really honestly just turned on my camera because I really just felt called to just share with you guys that start somewhere, even if it's not the biggest, grand, most elaborate thing, start somewhere. Don't beat yourself up if you're not able to be, you know, so hard pressed about every single goal you set out for yourself at the exact moment that you set out for yourself. Keep going, keep going. If you gotta crawl to the finish line, if you gotta baby step, like, two-step your way up there whatever you got to do just take your time because there's nobody else here but you you know i think 
we can get caught up particularly in the social media era the gen z's and the millennials of it all we can definitely have a tendency to get caught up when you're looking on social media at what other people are doing and what appears to be the level of success that they have and comparison is the thief of joy i don't know who said that i'm gonna try and find out but i know for a fendi fact that comparison is absolutely the thief of joy and there's really no need, like there's no need for it. You are doing amazing wherever you are at in your life. You woke up today with life in your body, with air in your lungs, blood in your veins, you are doing amazing. And so when I get in these moments of feeling like the cloud is over my head or just really not feeling like my best self, I think I've definitely found some beautiful techniques or some beautiful tools to really implement to help keep me grounded. One of which is meditation, which y'all know I talk about on this channel so much. Um, I actually have restarted my meditation journey because I stopped meditating for a while. I was still meditating, but not in the sacred way that I would like, not in the confined, again, putting everything in a box. I was kind of meditating when I could. I was in a very transitional space of my life for the past couple of months, as I feel like I alluded to in one of my other videos. I think the video where I was talking about just reflecting on the journey and so yeah meditation is something that really helps keep me grounded and grounding and rooting yourself is so important heavy root chakra energy i think if you align with the chakra system if you don't that's okay but root chakra energy and just really being grounded and finding things every day to keep myself grounded is so important some days you're going to wake up and you're going to feel like you're on top of the world and other days you're going to wake up and you're not going to feel like that you're going to feel like you want to crawl and hide at least for me i can only speak on behalf of myself i feel like i'm a human being i definitely have my ebbs and flows and so i've just been learning to really embrace where i'm at on my journey and just start now just start now, wherever you are. Even if you may not feel like you're accomplishing a whole bunch or even if you may not feel like, you know, the best version of yourself all the time, start now. Like the best place you can ever be is right here in the present. One of the motivational videos that I watched this morning was from Ralph Smart. Well, it was actually from The Fine Guru. Go figure, you guys gotta check out her YouTube channel. But um, it's called This Message Is For You. But within that video, she has a clip from Ralph Smart um, infinite waters and he's basically saying that anytime you wake up and you're in the past or you're in the future and you're not in the present that's your emotions it's fear it's not your intuition it's not like your your truth at the core you're not in perfect harmony and perfect alignment because you're in the past or you're in the future if you're in your bag when you wake up and you're not like in the moment you're like oh also caught up on what you want to have in the future and upset at the fact that you don't have it now or you're reminiscing on what you used to have and you're upset at the fact that you no longer have it or whatever your life circumstance may be for you because I don't know I'm just me that is always so powerful whenever I am feeling under the cloud I definitely love to turn that video on because there's so much beautiful motivational and inspirational spiritual how many ools can I say in a sentence there is just so much quality content in that video and so much soul food in that video i think right now i'm in a space of my life of really getting back aligned with the goals that i have set for myself one of which being living a natural lifestyle and a plant-based lifestyle which is believe me easier said than done it's so funny because it's like it can be hard but it's really not hard like the only time that it's hard is when i'm out of alignment like it's really not that hard this morning i woke up thinking about chicken and dumplings and i really wanted some um chicken minis from chick-fil-a and why i couldn't tell you but you know what i did i had myself a nice nature valley blueberry bar i drank my water i fed myself soul food being this quality content and i just continued to push forward full steam ahead so yes like i said i feel like i'm a little bit scramble brained right now i'm a little bit all over the place but hopefully you guys are following me like i said i have been really implementing meditation and really implementing my motivational audio during this time period to really just help keep me grounded and centered i also read a lot as you can clearly see i love reading it's very therapeutic to me i also downloaded audible recently so i have been listening to audiobooks which has been 
honestly a new form of content that I didn't think I would enjoy. I've always been the type of person that enjoys flipping the pages of a book. So I didn't think that listening to a book would be something I would be drawn to, but something clicked in my brain. I just had a space of like, enough is enough. Like I'm ready to try something new because clearly what I got going on isn't working. And so I was like, F it, let me download Audible. You know, like can't hurt. In addition to books that I have been reading, one of the books I have been reading is this book right here called The Way of Integrity by Martha Beck, Finding the Path to Your True Self. This book is really, really amazing. I included this book in a reel on my Instagram. If you're not following me, you should. It's Kyra Arthur, period. It says at the top, this radiant book will not only change your life, but perhaps even save it. And this book right here talks so much about the concept of integrity, which essentially means that anytime we want to do one thing, but you do something else, or you want to do something, but you don't push through at it, it's because you're internally divided somewhere and you're not living your truth and your way of integrity. And it's up to each of us to find out what our way of integrity is. And so back to what I was saying about me being on the treadmill, as I was walking on the treadmill and just thinking and reflecting and thinking about you know, the plans and the goals that I have for myself and how I don't want to let myself slip. I have to keep going, keep fighting, keep doing it, keep waking up every day and choosing myself. As I was thinking about that, it was like something just clicked. 2022 20, on the clock. Something just clicked. I felt so enlightened and felt like a weight was lifted off of me almost because I kind of got out of my own way. Because what I was internally divided about at the time was the fact that I want and need to post content on my YouTube channel, but the content that I currently am sitting on doesn't really align with messages that I feel called to share um, and that I feel are really fulfilling of my purpose. And so rather than come in the house, because as you can see, I still got my gym clothes on. Shout out to Candid Fit. Um, make sure you guys shop Candid Fit. Let me show you really quick. Woo. Okay. But yeah, so the process of thoughts in my brain in terms of what I needed to do to record a YouTube video today went a little something like this. I need to come back from the gym. I need to change my clothes, put on some makeup, find an outfit, put something on, make myself look all pizzazz and razzle dazzle for my beautiful YouTube community. And um, I just wasn't feeling it. I didn't feel like putting a wig on. I didn't feel like putting any makeup on. I just wasn't feeling it. And I also felt like it wasn't authentic to the moment that I'm in right now. There really is no need for me to glamorize myself all up for what it is that I'm talking to you guys about right now. Right now, we're just talking about being in alignment with yourself and starting today, wherever you are, and starting right now, like right this second, not later, not tomorrow, right now. Do something for yourself. Whether that's open your journal and write some things, reflect on how you're feeling, give yourself some positive affirmations, maybe turn on some meditation music on your TV, or open a book, read a book, go for a walk outside, get some fresh air, drink some water, put some food that's good for you into your body. Whatever it may be for you, that's something only you will know. And I think the more in alignment we are with ourselves and where we are in the current moment, the easier it is to just ebb and flow so easily. And just by me sitting down and recording this video, I swear to y'all from the depths of my soul, I feel 25 times better. I feel right back in alignment where I belong and where I'm always at and I'm flowing with the river and not fighting with the rocks. I got that from Lauren London. She said that on the Jay Shetty podcast and it was so, so, so powerful. But yes, so this video has probably been a little bit all over the place. Hopefully I made a little bit of sense to you guys. I just kind of gave you a little brain dump about how I'm feeling and this has been so therapeutic to me, which is how I know that it's in alignment with my purpose and with what my purpose is to do at this moment because I feel pure, I feel lighthearted, I feel balanced, I feel right here in this here and now moment. And yes, I'm encouraging each of you to show up for yourself, to continue to be your authentic self and find what works for you. You don't have to twist yourself up in a pretzel to try and figure out like, what do you need to do in order to be perfect or to be good enough? Or once I get these things, then I'll do this. Just start, just start. 
just by me reflecting with my camera and then sharing this with you guys has honestly been so so tremendously therapeutic and beneficial for me and so I feel amazing. I'm going to continue to have a great day. I got work to do. I have some meetings to tend to. I have some journaling to do, some reflections, some things to be grateful for. So I'm excited. I'm charged up. I'm feeling good. Like I said, this morning was not it. Okay. I was not feeling it this morning and I made it my dominant intent to feel good anyway and to find things that make me feel good. And so I'm sending love and light to each of you on your journey always. I can't wait to hear about your journey and just how you're finding ways to be more gentle with yourself and how you're finding ways to show up for yourself right now. If you guys want to hear more about my reflection from this 21 day cleanse and just general my journey back to natural living, let me know because I will be happy to create that content for you guys. I already have a lot of it in the works. I'm going to go eat myself some good, good plant-based eats and I will holla at y'all later. Bye.